What's going on guys? Roach2461 here and welcome to Dark Souls 3 Let's Play series. I'm going to be doing a series of this every day. I'm going to try to upload at least one video uh, a day. Um, I have played the first two bosses just to get to know the game a little bit because I don't know the items or how the game works. I've played Bloodborne and it's similar to Dark Souls. But not exactly, because Dark Souls is a different story, and it has different items, so I've played a little bit of Dark Souls, didn't go too far, honestly, the first two bosses, not really far, but I am going to be starting a new character, um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Aldrich, Saint of the Deep. Farron's Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. Lord of the profaned capital. Yon the giant. will abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. So it is that Ash seeketh embers. So in between cutscenes, I will mute my mic, um, just because I personally hate to make noise while there's a cutscene. And if I do end up meeting my mic randomly throughout the gameplay, it's because there's a lot of noise in my background. And I do apologize for that. Um, now, I'm not big on character customization. <laughs> Literally just now someone came in my room. Um, so I know a little bit about the game so far. Um, and I know it is a late Let's Plays. But it's a good game in general, so honestly, it's nothing... I really care about doing a late let's play honestly. Um, it's my favorite character out of all of these. Uh, I played the knight my first run, but I realized that like the three main things I liked the most in the beginning at least is strength, endurance, and health. 
and a little bit of luck. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna choose warrior. And I do like the axe. Honestly, I think the axe is really helpful um, in this game so far. And then we got boreal gift, which I'll choose fire gem for this because this is basically an infusion for my weapon to make it have an element. So I'm gonna put fire gem, and then I'm not really gonna customize it because I never really take off my armor. Um, so yeah, throughout cutscenes I will be quiet. In this cutscene though, there's nothing really to be quiet about. There's nothing really going on that they talk about. Um, so I'll just leave my mic on. Again, apologies if I do cut off my mic. It's just there's a lot of background noise and I don't want anyone hearing that because nobody likes hearing background noise in the middle of a gameplay. So I'll just mute my mic. It will be annoying at some, um, sometimes. Um, but honestly, there's nothing really I can do about it. I will try to do episodes when I'm alone in my house, so there's really no muting my mic in between gameplay. But for now, honestly, that's, it's just gonna have to be like this. Um, so for my first episode, I might just do it around 25 minutes, maybe more. Um, also, in between the episodes, I will cut off because... Um, Right now, I'm not really using anything or any kind of setup that's expensive. I'm mainly using Share Factory because I'm not, I'm completely cheap. So I don't really have any equipment yet, but hopefully in the future I can get equipment to edit better. I'm um, not using Share Factory, so every like 14 minutes, uh, it will have to like edit or it will cut off that part for a part and then I'll start like another part, but in the same episode. Um, no, let me take out these things. I just wasted that. Whoops. Let me just take out these. I don't find these useful at all. Um, for those who haven't really played the game, because there are people who haven't played the game. Let's be real. Honestly, not everyone can buy a game every single time. So there are some people who haven't played the game, and there are some people who haven't even seen game movies, um, surprisingly. So, what I just consumed earlier was basically for souls, which are used for upgrades. Um, usually... Since I've played Bloodborne so much, maybe I'll call them Echoes randomly. And if I do, I apologize for that because I'm way too used to Bloodborne. Sometimes I'll even call them money because... I don't know, I, I just don't like calling them so much, but maybe I'll get used to it eventually. Um, but yeah, I have faced the first two bosses, so honestly the first two bosses um, aren't going to be as much of a challenge as they were the first time. The first boss wasn't really hard. It was intense, but it wasn't really hard. I don't remember if I died in that boss battle, but I know I, it was pretty intense. And this ad is going to murder me. Uh, I've never seen this ad on my first run. So this is actually a new ad to me. I've actually gone to the house. Um, but I've had, I faced the first two bosses, and after that, I stopped playing the game. And I decided to start the video off these things. So the reason I went for Warrior is because in this game, it's a very strange thing right now that I'm not going to still die. This is my main thing right now that I'm worried about. Obviously, luck is the main thing, and there are some other abilities I'm at the upgrade so I can equip certain weapons. But for now, my main worry is this, and I just died. damage I think then I thought I would have been able to take that hit again but I guess not and that's my first death right there fuck well that's a shitty start to the series anyways let's just keep going honestly there will be a lot of rage in this game I'm just saying that right now it's a game of rage so and I'm nowhere near the best player and I've never really played a Dark Souls game in my life this is actually the first Dark Souls I'm playing I don't really know the story behind Dark Souls and I've never played the game, um, so I don't know anything about it. Um, usually all these cutscenes are just like a mystery to so yourself. Um, so I'm practically going into this game blind, except for these first two bosses, but actually that, I'm just completely blind. I have no idea what I'm doing, what I'm doing correct or wrong. Um, so I'm just gonna mainly just go for whatever boss I find, so they're all connected to the story. I don't know if there's optional bosses because in Bloodborne there were bosses that you didn't have to technically beat but you could go beat them if you wanted to so I don't know if it's the same thing as 
Dark Souls. Um, if it is, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll try to beat the boss. Um, if not, then I guess I'll have to beat the boss. And now, I'm just gonna go with whatever boss I find. Um, so, there's not gonna be a lot of raging. Or there is gonna be a lot of raging. Uh, for other players, I mean, it's not so difficult, but it is a challenging game. First boss, not so much, honestly. Definitely, oh, she's a little boss. Oh, so, these three Mexicans, that's what I'm gonna call them, because I don't know what else to call them. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm terrible when it comes to pronouncing words. Um, so, I'll just call them Medkits, honestly. Um, there's a limit to these med kits. Sorry about that. There's noise in the background. Again, I do apologize. I really can't do anything about it. Um, so I'm gonna try hard, as hard as possible to do episodes with no one's here. So Most likely is annoying to people who watch this. But, um, I don't know, try my hardest, honestly. It is pretty annoying, but I can't really do anything about it. Hopefully, it doesn't happen way too much so to the point where I practically cut off my mic every single second. Um, but yeah, what I was saying about these flasks, I guess that's how you pronounce that part of the word. Um, they're basically med kits, um, and there's a limit to how many you can hold. Um, in my first character, I was holding four because I basically switched over this for this basically an extra med kit um because i really don't know what this is for um i've never used it at all um as you can see that blue bar above my endurance my green bar i've never used that bar at all i don't know what it does um all i know is that i switched this flask for another health flask i guess that's how i'll try to pronounce it um, and honestly, it worked out better for me like that. Um, especially in the second boss, I definitely needed that fourth flask. It actually saved me a lot. Now with this character, it's third year health. A little more health, but it definitely has more strength more endurance. Um, which I really like, honestly. Those are like, the three main things I go for. Most games know what they do. But definitely in the future boss, I would most likely be quiet and try to conscious as possible. And I do apologize for that, it's just the way I play. Um,
have the space or time to make a longer video because of the noise in my background. Um, so I'll... Hopefully, if you guys haven't seen this, I will try to show you as much as possible. I do love looking at items. Because I like finding cool items in Because usually items in a game like this, and I know in fact I could say this because it's much more Um, finding items was like the coolest thing, honestly. They were things like all the powers or abilities. And it just gave you a whole new advantage, but at the same time you had to upgrade a certain skill or ability to an insanely high level, which is pretty ridiculous honestly, but in this game, um, there's a lot of skills as you can see to upgrade. Now I don't know what level they go up to, but I know in Bloodborne they went up to level 99. I'm not sure if it's the same year, because there are a little more abilities or skills than there are in Bloodborne. So I would just with them. Um, so I don't know if it goes to 60 or 99 or if it goes to some other so, uh, like I told you guys earlier, I played the game a little bit, not way too much, honestly. Um, so there's this thing I just grabbed right here, it's called Ember, and these are basically like an, a health upgrade, but for a life, one life only. So, if I use this, um, and then I die, I lose it, and then I have to use another one to get more health. Uh, as you can see, I have one right now, I guess you get one whenever you beat a boss. Oh, again, these are mainly for, these are basically for souls or money, if you want to call them. And right now, I definitely have a lot more souls than I did in my first run. Um, that's because I killed that dragon diamond I had earlier in the game. I don't know what it was, honestly. I don't really know any of these bosses' names, or these ads' names. Alright, this is, I think this is Girl Who Upgrades You. Welcome to the bonfire, Unkindled One. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. So this is the girl that just upgrades you, basically. She just says the same stuff whenever you go upgrade. Um, as you upgrade, everything gets more expensive. I'll show you right now. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Alright, so as you can see, on the required souls, it increases the more you do, the more upgrades you do, it increases the amount. So I am huge on health, endurance, and strength so far in this game. Um, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do two things. So I'm trying to keep it to 16. Dextery is another thing I wanna upgrade, mainly because um, Dextery and Intelligence and Faith. I believe these things are for equipment and weapons that you find throughout the game. So I'm gonna put two upgrades into this. Uh, I basically wasted all my money. But honestly, it's nothing too expensive, honestly. You basically farm. I usually the farm off the camera. The flames uh, so if I do have an increased level throughout the episodes, um, and you guys didn't see me increase levels, that's mainly because I did it off camera. I like to farm off camera because I feel like farming. On video is pretty boring to watch. A pleasure to me. I am but a like humble handmaid of the shrine. During the middle the I video. Um, right now I'm trinkets, talking over this lady. I've lots of little things, things to ease the burden. So and yes, I'm say, undead like ashen one. Fetch souls and bring them to me as is I want. <laughs> so right here she basically sells things. I don't like to buy armor weapons. I mainly go for arrows and bolts, mainly because weapons and armor you basically find throughout the game. Um, other than that, I really won't buy anything else. I have no idea what these are for, or not these, um, this key right here, I have no idea what this is for. Uh, wait, is this for, this costs 20k. So I'll show you a door that I couldn't open earlier in my first character. I still don't know how to open it, I'm assuming it's this camera because it says uh, key to, I have no idea how to pronounce that word, I'm gonna skip it, tower behind the shrine, which I'm assuming right now is the key to open the door where I couldn't open on my first character, which I'll show you guys in a sec. So this play is to basically sell items or buy items, um, I should I really do now because I waste yeah. all my money. Oh, hold on, let me just try to fix my inventory right now because I want to fix my inventory. Alright. 
talk to this guy. This guy is basically where you upgrade your weapon. I think that you can upgrade armor in this game as well. I'm not sure. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. So right here, uh, I've told you guys there's infusion and then there is upgrade. So I chose a fire gem earlier. I have no idea what this gem is. This looks sick. Um, so infusion is basically adding extra damage and an element to a weapon. Right here, this is for physical damage. It's a raw gem, which I've seen these before my first character. I don't remember where I got them from, but I've definitely seen them. Fire gem doesn't really look like I actually want to use this because it doesn't really help. As a matter of fact, it just, it just upgrades your fire, but then it lowers your physical. It's not really changing anything other than your fire. I think I'd rather go with the raw gem, which I will find soon. And I'll just save that fire gem for later on. So. Um, yeah, so I don't really want to just change anything. So I can upgrade my weapon, but it does require shards, which you also find in the game. Which, in this game, you don't want to sell too much, because you really never know what's useful in this game, or what's not useful. So far, I haven't really sold anything that I've seen new. I've mainly kept it in my inventory my first character. That's someone doing this character. I'm not really going to sell anything that I get, unless I know for a fact I'm never going to use it. Will take some time because usually I find different ways to use different items. I will look around here. I remember looking around here in my first character. I'll try to show you as much as possible that I remember of. Um, so I've again I played the first two bosses, so I kind of know these areas. Um, but I'm pretty sure I haven't really covered everything around those first two bosses because in these kinds of games I always think I have. Uh, gone through everything, but usually I don't. Even Bloodborne, I'm pretty sure I played it like five or six times. I've never even fully completed or collected every single item. I'm trying to get above, I forgot how to do I think it's from here. Yeah, it's from here. I think, yeah, there's a random AI there. I'll call them AI there. Uh, I don't want to call them enemies sometimes. Sometimes I call them enemies, so I mainly call them ads or AIs. But there's another Ember. Those are really helpful. This game. Let me actually switch that mess up. Put the number right here. Oh, I forgot to regen my health kits. That's what I'm gonna call them, in honestly. Health kits or health flasks. I'll try to get used to health flasks. I'm never gonna call them whatever that first word is. So I suck dick when it comes to pronouncing words. Right, let me just go regen my flask because I know for a fact I'm about to fight that guy. I remember fighting him earlier, so I'm gonna go regen my flask and my health. I don't know if regening or resetting everything resets your ember. I don't remember exactly. Let me actually light this up. Oh, I can't light it up. What? Oh, there we go. So yeah, when you actually go to these bonfires, they're basically checkpoints. And they're, area they're ways to travel to other areas you've been before. Um, but when you use these, you are basically resetting all the AIs and ads that you've killed um and you have to go through them all over again or just basically run through them if you want to okay so it doesn't restart your ember which is a good thing um so yeah when you go to that you basically reset every enemy you killed um so right here i've never really killed this guy so this is oh, i've killed them my first character but this is my first time killing with this character which i'm not too afraid honestly because i've learned some of these ads. This guy moves really quick. That was this does. This guy isn't really. Oh, he was definitely part of my first character. That's because I still want to be the dark. And I lost my ember too. So, again, when you die, you also lose your ember. How much time have we gone into the video? Well, I th it's almost time, honestly. I'll just. Play it three more minutes. I'm gonna try to kill this ad before I end the video. Um, so I will try to go at least above 20 minutes. I will say that. 
Um, I'll try to go as higher than 20 minutes for sure. Nothing more than that, honestly, because I, I want to start editing and then uh, upload this and then start another episode to keep playing. Because honestly, this game is just insanely fun. And I want to keep making episodes and keep playing at the same time. I don't really know why the smoke thing comes up whenever you die. You just have to wait it out. I'm not going to use my ember because it's not a boss. So I really don't want to waste it. Usually I just waste embers on bosses. I find quite a lot of them though. Or not quite a lot. I, I find these throughout the game. But I don't want to just waste them like they're just easy to find. Because I like to be conservative with my items. I don't like to just waste it constantly. Unless I'm really that mad of a certain bad boss. And I can't I don't want to end the episode with him killing me. I want to keep fucking facing him. I guess I have to end it here. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I will, again, be making another episode of this game tomorrow. Or, if not, on Monday. Because I'm pretty sure my cousin will take this game back. It's not even my game. Um, but, yeah, ho hopefully you guys enjoyed... Um, Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.